Hi right, guys, I am back with another video. So today I am going to show you uh, how to transfer stuff from one map to another map. Uh, there may be situations where maybe your map has become corrupted and you're having issues with it. Uh, sometimes moving it over can uh, fix it. It actually worked for me one time when Unreal Engine 5 uh, corrupted one of my maps and it was causing stuttering when I moved it over to another map it uh, seemed to go away so let's get started first off uh, if you're already set up on warp partition you want to go to the outliner and you want to make sure you have the root landscape actor selected not any of the tiles underneath it uh, and then you want to go to landscape you want to go to manage import and then you want to select export and I'm just going to go ahead and delete this and create a new one. And I'll just say H for height. I'll make sure to check these. These are for the uh, landscape material. These are layers on it. We're going to export these, this layer info. So I'm just going to call this GG. I'm going to call this one SM and this one GU. And now I'll export them. And uh, I'm just going to save that. So first off, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to browse to that asset. Let's just uh, do it again. There we go, right there. And then I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to go to new level, empty open world. You don't have to choose open world if you don't want to, but this will set it up for world partition. So first we're going to go into landscape mode and I'm going to select that height map from there. Uh, let's select that, press the back space button. We have to create these layers before we can do this. So I need to save this. And then I'll go back into landscape mode, create the layer. Control Shift S to save. Now we're going to load those. This is ground gravel, soil mud, and grass uncut. And we didn't get any errors. If you got any errors, that may be due to an Unreal Engine 5 bug so, uh, where it's not exporting them uh, with the proper data or something's getting corrupted somewhere. I'm not sure what causes it to do that. I had to redo this because on one of the ones I was doing it on, it was giving me an error on the, the grass layer for it. So you'll see that the uh, scaling looks off. Don't freak out. Uh, we just need to come back to this other map. I'll go ahead and save that. And we'll select this landscape layer and we just need this scale so you can hold down shift and right mouse button to copy that and then we'll go back over here and let's see i'm just going to load all of this and then under the outliner i'm selecting the root landscape and i'm just control left click or shift left clicking on it to paste it and now if we go into unlit mode you'll see it looks all right 
So now all we have to do is we just have to copy everything else over. So this will not copy over uh, procedural foliage. So you will have to regenerate those if you have procedural foliage volumes set up. So I'm just going to select everything and then I'm going to look for the landscape layer and I'm going to deselect that. Make sure it was unselected. Yeah. Control. <coughs> yeah. Sorry. Control C. And then we will go back to this one and we will control V. And uh, it looks like the actual position of the landscape is off as well. So I'm going to go back over here. I overlooked that. And then I'm just going to shift right click on that. That's about 155. You could also do this. Open up notepad. And then do that. And then we will select the landscape. Shift left click on it right there. And then copy this again. And shift left click there. And now, hopefully, everything will be back to where it was supposed to be. We need to load our layers. And there we go. So if I come into Unlit, you'll see that the uh, foliage that he had on this map was painted in place. So it did not come over. Uh, There's nothing I can do about that because he hand painted it. Uh, he didn't use procedural foliage volumes. So I could set up a procedural foliage volume using uh, uh, that. And if he has it tied to material layers, then it'll automatically only be placed where that was painted at. But I'm not sure that's how he did it. Or if he did use a procedural foliage volume, he deleted it afterwards. So in this case, I can't copy this over. So. We can go to foliage though, and you'll see. I, like I said, I believe, I believe he hand painted all of this. Uh, yeah. And I don't think you can copy this from here. Yeah, you probably, you can try to uh, copy this over, but I'm pretty sure that foliage instances, you can't copy over. It's not even showing up in inside of here, so it's not a good sign. I'm just going to try to control C it, and it looks like it deselected it. I think that's an indicator that Hey, you can't, you can't do that. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, so if you have hand-painted uh, foliage, then uh, you're just going to have to hand-paint it again. Uh, if you used procedural foliage volumes, then you can just uh, copy those procedural foliage volumes over like everything else and, ju and then just re-simulate them. And it'll place everything like it was. Uh, oh, not exactly like it was. It'll be a little different. But if they were bound to material layers on your landscape material blueprint or material shader, I mean, uh, then it will roughly give you, you know, it'll only put place randomly place it within the areas where you originally painted. So if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask down below and I'll see you in the next video.